in talking about how end users see access, or in their terms, navigation on the web, let's start with search. Search uh, wanders around the screen. Search is a good example of something that hasn't quite found its home on the screen. Uh, and one thing to understand is that each of the navigational features that we'll talk about has been invented at some point. And, bef and before it was invented, it didn't appear anywhere on the screen. Once it was invented, it appears at different places. And you'll see as we talk about different kinds of navigational structures that they kind of, um, some of them have solid homes on the screen. Some of them really move around on the screen. And search is one of those that, that's tending to move around, but it's actually beginning to coalesce pretty much on the global nav bar. So how does the end user look at search? The end user thinks of search as a way of mm, finding anything anywhere, no matter what. And I guess that's probably the, the best way to characterize how search really is used. I type in a couple of words that I think have something to do with what I'm looking for. I hit go, and no matter where those words are, I get some, some, some result that tells me uh, something about how to find them. And some of the things I expect from those results, first of all, I expect that, um, that there'll be some titling, some labeling on the result that lets me know where, that, um, where those words were found. Uh, Google has really set the tone for search. Um, you'd be surprised how per pervasive the ways that Google does things have become in search and how much Google really has set the, the terms for search. You'd also, I think, be well served by looking at a variety of other kinds of search to see that the Google way is not the only way and that there are many, many other ways of representing search, many other ways of putting search um, uh, on a page and many other ways of representing the results of search than just simply the way that Google does it. However, Google has set the tone for search and some of the tone that Google has set is that uh, there's the, the one wordness of search or the one boxness of search. Really, search can be, as we'll see much later in the course, search can be um, much more, uh, much more full-featured, but what we've gotten used to and what we kind of expect is one box where I type some words, and just by typing those words, it goes out and it looks everywhere. And that's a thing about search that really isn't true, but it's an assumption that we make about search, is that anywhere where those words might be found is looked for. And then the results of those, of the results of my words, are come in some sort of list fashion, and that list we expect to be more or less ranked by relevance, by the, by the relevance of that topic, let's say, or that, um, that item of information to, uh, to my search. I expect that each of those items will be labeled and that um, the item has some form of a title on it so that I can see where in general this hit is. I generally expect now, and this hasn't always been the case, but it's certainly the case now, I expect that hit to be shown in context with some sort of highlighting. So under the title of the item, I expect to see uh, the words that surround the words that I I've been searching for. Those are the kinds of things that I expect to see when, um, uh, when, when doing a search. So search is the first form of navigation that we'll talk about. It's kind of a lowest common denominator of, of navigation. On the one hand, we expect that no matter when we type into search, something will be found and that all different occurrences will be found. On the other hand, we, we kind of expect that what we get back from search is going to be like a lowest common denominator. It's going to be all the places, but it's not going to be the place or the right place. And the other forms of navigation, we actually have much higher expectations that when we get a result back from performing that navigation, that it's the right result, not just any result. So search is kind of a lowest common denominator. It'll always return results, but we expect those results to be relatively low grade.